Hey, what is going on, everybody? This is Kenzen Crease. And one wonderful thing is, well, we're playing the second level of Orcs Must Die 2, and I just started laughing when I was hearing the dialogue from the level. Because, again, this is the second level that Stefan K and I both did, and, well, we kind of never recorded our audio when we were playing. That was our mistake, so I'm sorry. But, welcome. And, again, that is a little thing to change tracks for the train. And, you pretty much have two rows going down, coming into one hallway, leading to the door where they have to, you have to stop it from. We can only let 20 people through before it's, or technically 19, before it's game over. And there's five rounds. Also, to be warned, if you knock people off the ledge pretty much where I'm at they will go down to the bottom which they can come out over to here Ready, which is fight. not good pretty much where the train tracks are that's where they can come out from and there's also health potions down there for you so pretty simple we got a new trap and that is the spikes on the floor which well I just love those things if you remember any of my other videos, I use those, the arrow walls, and the flip traps a lot. So we're, you know, doing our thing, watching me kill things while Stefan is confused and not doing anything. Now I will state, he does not have the best internet, so that might be why he doesn't kill as much things as I do, or it just might be because he doesn't play the game enough. Or didn't play the first game enough, I'll say. So, you know, it's just that whole actionness out that I like about this game and the strat strategy behind everything. Now, instead of me just rambling this time, I'm actually going to explain our strategies that I was doing. Now, with what I was doing, pretty much I'm blocking, well, trying to, and then I get broke. But I'm trying to put stuff down on this side since Stefan pretty much took care of the other side. And I just knocked somebody off the edge there. Which is sad. Be very careful of doing that because if not, we're going to get through. It's going to be very bad. Which, hence is why I sit here, watch him get hit by the train, and laugh. Use the train car to your advantage if you can. Because it actually just knocks people up in the air. Kind of hilarious. But if they're almost dead, then get killed by it as well, I believe. Now, you cannot get hurt from it from what I've seen. As well, as you saw, I just got hit from it. But the best thing to do in this level after you secure those two rows up here is pretty much secure the back area. Because you want to have your defenses for the last round for that back area pretty good. You don't want it to be crap, uh, you know, half crappy. And use spike traps on the stairs here. And, well, use them to pretty much help you. And this is me telling stuff on put it right here where I'm standing. Right where? And I just say I give up and start attacking. We are on the third wave. We had nobody enter our door. And, well, we're doing pretty good. We're both holding off our own side. Which. I believe I get mine done before his. Now, the thing to remember, both sides are made differently. We set our traps up differently. The side that I'm on, Stefan actually set his traps up on. So, you know, he has two spike traps. Actually, four spike traps and three arrow walls. I just have two spike traps. So I kind of screwed him over. His work... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Two arrow walls and two spike traps. There you go. But at the same time, I got stuff on the back side. Down the main hallway. Which, I get, we let one person, or two people go through. Yep, two people to go through. Bad, bad people. So, what we're going to do now is build up back here. And you're going to just see me start placing arrow walls. And it's never mind because I got broke. I forgot I didn't have that much money. But it's cool. Stefan puts two there, which is very smart. Putting those there 
just helps you when they come into the, um, pretty much to go in there. They just come in at an angle and they get shot by both of them. The one thing I'm very happy that they added that you can put stuff at an angle now if it's on the wall. And I'm just bored so I'm shooting that like crazy. Because it is fun. Now, this fourth wave is pretty hectic. But I will say the fifth wave is worse. You know, just hold them back as best you can. And get rid of the quick ones first, because you can knock out, you can take care of the slow ones really easily. And try to get combos together. Now, the really one thing to worry about is that Earth Elemental. He is very annoying, and when you kill him, he splits into two. Now, that almost got us, uh, on the fifth round. And I believe on this round, near the end of it, because another one comes out. So just remember to use your traps to your advantage. And it's pretty good, you know, in the fourth and fifth round to stay back here. Like, after they start coming out, you want to stay back here. Why? Look at that track kill. Use the tracks to your advantage. Funnel them into the tracks if you can. That, I'm, I can't say that enough because, again, if they're almost dead, they will get killed by the train car. But, you know, this is the ground that you hold. You do not let anybody buy you. And if, you know, they get knocked off up at the top, this is good to have one person here, one person at the top of the, uh, stairs. Which, this is when I just go crazy. I just start putting these everywhere. And, well, you can put arrow walls on that angle like that, and that is when I'm just like, yes. And now, fifth round. Everything's a little bit more hectic, everything's a little bit more quicker. And you just gotta hold it as best as you can. Like I said, fall back to this area just in case somebody, you know, your partner knocks them down. If you're playing by the, yourself, stay up there as long as you can. And then, you know, fall back to this spot. From here, you can have them coming down the ramps. You can pretty much take care of them as they come through the uh, tunnels that the track's on. You have your picking of where you want to fight at, you know. That's This is the best area to hold on this level. But at the same time, it's the most dangerous area to hold. Because if you miss, oh, they get straight back to your thing. And with that being said, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and comment. Let us know what you want to see. Because that is a very important thing. If you want to play with me on Steam, let me know. And put your Steam names in on the comments. Peace out, everybody.